Now, this has been a summer like no other, hasn't it? Uh, bushfires have been burning around the country since August, and not much of the East Coast has gone untouched, with over a million hectares destroyed. This morning, I want to show you what the devastation looks like from the air. The sheer size and scope of the crisis is horrifying, and it's clear these fires are going to be burning for some time yet. Turning day into night, this monster known as the Currawan Fire has been burning for over a month. It's destroyed thousands of properties and claimed lives, tearing through over 300,000 hectares of land between Nowra and Batemans Bay on the New South Wales south coast. This fire front is, you know, well and truly over 100 k's long. And you can see how thick this national park and forest is. There's no hope of fighting this from the ground or from the air. You can see the visibility is really poor again now. So you can see there's just really no escape here. This, um, these flames and a hell of a lot of smoke to go with it, burning right down onto the edge of, um, of this lake. These helicopters are saviours of the sky. There's 300 litres of water in that bucket and they'll dump about 150 loads per day to save towns like this one. So we've got this bloke doing another load uh, of water out of the lake to save Barara, this village here. And just down here, I'll tell you, there is a, a sign on the beach and some uh, locals standing on the beach with a big thank you sign. The beaches here are usually friendly at this time of year, but for a very different reason. This is summer. This is the prime time. These towns, these coastal towns, uh, are usually packed at this time of year, school holidays, and uh, they're empty. And just metres from the beach, apocalyptic scenes. It's just so, such a devastated landscape. It's just all black. What amazes me here is it's burnt right down to the water and that's sandy ground. It's just burnt over everything. It's so much heat in this. There's one house, two houses gone, but then the one right next to it's still standing. All of these trees gone. I can see boats on trailers and cars just melted out on the road. Just take a look at this. Look at these trees, it's just all black. It literally looks like the surface of the moon. It's beyond devastating. I don't know how long it's gonna take for um, for this to come back, this forest. You, you don't even, I mean, there is no number yet on um, the native wildlife that has been lost in this area. But it's going to be huge. You hear all these stories coming out of these bushfires this year about uh, the sound of the fire and the fireballs that come out of these forests. But then when you see what's left behind and these houses melted, there's not a tree here that's not black, ash all over the beach. You just realise how absolutely terrifying this must have been. Wow. It's just a mess. Hate. Yeah. And particularly, would have been really emotional for you because that's your backyard, isn't yeah, it? You, well, you're down that way. I, I spent part of my life in the Southern Highlands and we used to holiday as kids on the South Coast and yeah. Adaminibi is where I grew up. That was evacuated. You know, every place I love no. in this beautiful state was under attack. You didn't really know what to panic about first and we were actually on holidays at the South Coast for a few days camping and were evacuated to Naruma. Yeah. We spent New Year's Eve on the Naruma Oval in the caravan with the rest of... Uh, you know, hello to everybody from the room. Who was <laughs> everyone was just so wonderful, but it was frightening. It was yep. that when the, when they say day turns to night, um, you know, I think I'm pretty tough yeah. in most situations. But that is terrifying. You get very disorientated. You can't yep. help but panic. Electricity goes down first, then the communications. You don't know what roads are open. You don't know. Then you run for your life. Well, you try in not to run for instances. your life, but you know, I've learned a few things this summer that I, as a country kid, as a bushy, I should should have known anyway. Keep a lot of fuel in your tank of your yeah. car. Yeah. Charge your phone if you think there's a fire coming because you, your electricity will go. Yeah. And we've been just filling up buckets of, you yeah, know, wow. in the house, buckets of water in the house. Harrowing. But you work out what's important in your life. Yep. Yeah. There's a big learning lesson in all of this for all of us. Yep.